Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about uh, different ways to read the data from console. Means different ways to read the data from keyboard. Console means uh, we already know from our uh, Eclipse IDE, we are having console. In that console, we are going to check the output. The same way, in the same console, we are going to give you the give the input to the program. So, how to read the data from there? That we are going to discuss. In our previous classes, we never did anything like this to read the data from keyboard. So, this is the first class and in our last classes, we clearly discussed about the input-output streams and what about system.out. So, these things were discussed in our previous class. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, if you want to read the data from the console, we, we, we are having two ways. The first way we are going to discuss and then we go with the next way. So, we are going to use the buffered reader class in Java. It's in java.io we are having a buffered reader class. So, this is the object. Object name is reader is equal to new buffered reader of means we are creating an object for class buffered reader. For that object, buffered reader means we are calling the constructor. In that constructor, we are sending an object. Which class object we are sending? We are sending an object of new input stream reader of. Means we are creating an object for class input stream reader. For input stream reader constructor, we are sending system.in. So, what are all this? What is system.in? What is input stream reader? Why we are going to use this? What is this buffered reader? Why we want to use this, that things we are going to discuss in this class. Now, let us try to understand what is system.in. In our last class, we clearly discussed about system class, system.out. So, let us try to understand what is system.in. Take the system class. In this system class, we are having a variable which is static input stream in. In is a variable, it is a static variable, means memory allocated during the loading time. Whenever this class is loading, memory is allocated. And this variable can be called using class name, system.in, because it is a static variable. So, this variable is a reference variable to input stream class. This is a, this input stream class is discussed in our last class. So, object should be assigned to this variable in. Who is going to create that object and who is going to assign that object to this variable? JVM is going to take care of that. We, know, we don't need to do anything. JVM is going to attach that object, that required object for this variable. So, now that object is sent as input to the input stream reader class. From our example, input stream reader class. System.in that is sent to the input stream reader class. So, what is system.in? Input stream is used to read the data from the keyboard in, in the way of bytes. Means take the first byte, second byte, third byte like that. You uh, Byte, we, we read the data in the form of bytes. In order to convert these bytes, whatever that read from the system.in, that convert that into characters. This class has been designed. Input stream reader class has been designed. Means different ways, different possibilities to convert bytes to characters. Means uh, ASCII values. What are the other possibilities? Uh, Unicode. Unicode 8, Unicode 16. These are the different possibilities. Uh, different character sets available in the market. Uh, so, in order to convert that, this class has been designed. So, bytes to characters to convert this class means the methods that present in here helpful in converting that into the characters. Now, this object is given as input to the buffered reader. What is this class? Why they defined this class? So, this buffered reader class is going to create some buffer space for our console. Means whatever that read from the keyboard that is stored in the Buffer means buffer means some memory space. So why? What's the use of that buffer space? Let's try to understand. In the console, we have in the console we have typed as a hi, hello, how are you? This entire data is read into the buffer. 
buffer space. Why it is going to read the entire data at a time? Why don't it read the first line, second line like that? In order to provide fast access, first time read the entire data into the buffer space. From here onwards, read the data line by line according to the requirement. What's that requirement? See, string name is equal to reader means this is the object of buffered reader. Reader dot read line of. What is this read line of? It is the method that present in buffered reader class. It is going to read the data line by line. It is going to read first line. It is going to read from the buffer. If you use this command read dot reader dot read line of again, it is going to read the next line. It is going to read the next line like that. How many times you call this method? It is going to take the next line, next line, next line like that. In order to avoid each time going into the console, in order to avoid that, whenever you got time, get the entire data and store it in the buffer so that you can read this data from the buffer easily. In the, in the quick access, you can access this data from the buffer. That's why they allotted this buffered reader class. Let's check the methods that are available in buffered reader class. So these are so many methods are there. We have to understand all these methods, but most of the times we go with read line and read methods. Whenever it's required, we have to check the documentation. How to check the documentation? We showed it in our last class and we have to learn about this method. What this method is going to be do reads a line of text and it is going to give you in the string format. If it is an integer, you have to convert that into integer using type casting. So that's why this buffered reader class is, it is having very less methods. It is very difficult to convert all these uh, strings into integers and all those things. That's why this buffered reader class is a old method. We are not going to use much about this buffered reader class. But the next, next possibility we are going to use much. So what is that scanner class? So this is one of the way. The second way is using scanner class. So it's very very simple the syntax is scanner class in means this is the object name in is equal to new scanner of for this scanner class we have to send system dot in as a input means the object that related to input stream is given as a input to this scanner constructor. So in this scanner class we are having so many methods which are very flexible methods. Well let's check few of the methods then we will check the documentation. String s is equal to in means object dot next line is a method which is going to read the next line of data from the console. So system dot out and it is assigned to variable s yes, system dot out dot printl and is you entered string s yes. and next int of is a method that is available in the scanner it is going to read an integer from the keyboard means from the console only the next integer will be read next float next floating point number will be read from the day console this is that, that is why most of the times we go with scanner class we are having multiple method uh, multiple methods are available to read in different formats let's check the scanner class one So this is the scanner class. You can check the construct different constructors available for scanner class. So different constructors available. These are the constructors. See scanner file source means you can if you want to read the data from the file, you have to provide the file source. Like the different possibilities are there. Input stream source means this is what we have used. System dot in is the input source, input stream source. That is the class which is object is created. Like that, you have to check the different constructors available, and there are so many methods available. Close delimiter has next of has next of big decimal of. So you check the documentation when most of the times we go with next line, next integer, next floating point, next double, next short, next uh, byte, double int, next int, next line, next long, next short, 
like this we have different methods you check the documentation hope you understand how we are going to read the data from the console so from now onwards we are going to use this uh, uh, this exam uh, this way of reading the data from the console if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you